Hello everyone and welcome to Antique and Garden Showcase. I'm Mark and glad you're here today. I am outside loading up the car. This is probably going to be a two-part video. Loading up the car, getting ready to go pick up some really great auction wins that I got over the weekend. And I'm really excited about these because this will be the largest haul that I've managed to get since I opened the booth for Antique and Garden Showcase at the Chestnut Street Mini Mall. Uh, in this, well, I actually got a piece for myself. I bought a Gone with the Wind lamp, a uh, little garden cart that's a shelf uh, that uh, planters go on, which is going to be a neat piece. There's a lot of different little um, kind of whimsical planters. There's just just a ton of things. Paperweights, I don't know. I, there's so much I'm going to just, I'll probably have to spend several days going through it uh, before it ever gets over there. But I do want to take you along as I pick up those things. And as you can see here, I am working on getting the back end of my car covered up. I want to protect my seats and everything. That's kind of a good thing to do. Um, when I flip the camera around, I'll show you some of the other stuff I've got prepared. One thing that I found that's incredibly handy to have whenever you're going to an auction or to pick up moving blankets, those are always an essential. So I'm going to put the moving blankets in here, have those stacked up. I have different sizes, like uh, the blue one I have covers the whole back end of the car just to protect the backs of the seats since I have leather seats in here and the sides a little bit too. And then I'll wrap these smaller ones. These black ones are a little smaller and they can go around smaller items. Another thing that I found extremely handy are these crates, these blue crates. Uh, actually, I found them in the automotive section at Walmart. These crates fold down, but I always keep a couple packed with um, these bubble wrap bags. And these bags have an opening. If you're packing glassware and things or porcelain or whatever, it makes it really quick to uh, load your items that way. A lot of these things, you saw the preview for this auction before, you know that a lot of things are pre-packed, but I'm going to make sure that they are uh, road ready because I've got to drive about, it's probably about 30, 45 minutes away. So I've got another moving blanket, a new one here I'm going to put in. It's a bigger one just in case I need it for some of those bigger items couple of more fold up boxes and then I have another box that's full of wrapping paper and bubble wrap and stuff like that so this is just preparing the car for a pickup tomorrow and then we're gonna go see what the pickups all about um, tomorrow so I know this was auction pickup day but my first stop today is tractor supply and I'm going to look for the grass seed that I need to fill in where the zoysia grass has become such a problem in the yard and I know they've got what I need here. So I'm gonna head inside and pick out the things for the yard. So I think I'm gonna start with a Scott's Turf Builder landscape and snakes. I used this in the spring and it worked really well and it does well in the lower backyard, but I'm also gonna mix that with a Kentucky 31 fescue on top. This gives me just a little bit stronger grass and I think it'll be really good for the lawn. So these are the two I'm going to pick up today. So I chose the Scott's Turf Builder Grass Seed the Landscapers Mix. The reason I got this is because I did try it in the spring. It is a good mix of grasses. There's a lot of different types of fescue in there in which I do have a fescue lawn but some of these fescues are better for uh, shadier areas and my lower backyard is inundated with shade and a lot of moisture and water because there is a small creek and a little cave that's on the opposite side of the fence down there and this worked really well and I need something that kind of holds down there but I also wanted to get the Kentucky 31 because it tends to root a little stronger and uh, this is good for the front yard and also in more of the sunnier areas as you can see it's a mixture of kentucky fescue other seeds and whatever i found both of these not to be very weedy or bring in other uh, bad things into the lawn so i'm going to kind of mix these together um, more of this one as you can see and a little less of that one and i think we're gonna have a good covering for uh, all the areas that i'm burning out for the zoysia grass now let's move on i gotta do a little merchandising this morning but then i'm gonna move on to the auction well friends here's a quick scan of the car unfortunately i couldn't get the pickup because it was chaotic there but this car is full from front to back 
got a cute little garden cart here and just boxes and boxes of stuff to go through. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this inside and probably uh, fold out a folding table in the garden room downstairs and then we'll take a look at it when I get it all out there. Okay, so here is the auction hall. There's a cute little, looks like a little spaniel planter there. And then uh, some little miniatures for anything, little home sweet home, glass didn't have any markings on it. There's a little small piece here, it was marked made in Germany. I don't know exactly what that is, we have to look it up. These are Royal Copley birds, really pretty. Uh, there's a pair of those. Thought this little guy was Hummel for a minute, but I don't think he is. Um, just a cute little figurine. Cameo music box, another little music box. Uh, this is a little ring tree hand. Uh, there's a couple of little chipped blooms in it, but uh, can't really make out that mark of who that is. There's a little holiday collectible figurine. There's a lot of figurines in here. This will go on the Christmas table. This was um, designer's collection Holly Hobby from 1982, limited to 15,000. But the biggest thing on here were the paperweights. I thought these were so pretty. Really pretty paperweights that I got there. Um, an old bicycle horn. Um, some cards, card decks, little wooden box. This little wooden piece was cute. It had little canisters in it and a little uh, syrup jug and a little uh, bean pot. I think this piece is really good. This was a heavy uh, iron bank. Uh, I'm gonna do some research on that one before I take it over. It's a pretty little porcelain portrait vase, the colonial scene on it. Um, from our area, this is a Bybee Pottery Owl, which are not found too often. A real tiny little guy there. I'll go over to the booth soon. This is a Chinese porcelain, like a little powder jar, some more figurines, some more planters, and this cute little duck planter here. And there's some wall hangings, some apples there. A few things on the floor, some pictures, and uh, a couple of glass pieces, and also a uh, plate rack there. Um, inside I got a couple of Pyrex bowls and there's also a, uh, a metal garden cart that has some uh, shelves on it to display things but uh, don't have that one out, out just yet. And I did get my uh, Gone with the Wind lamp which is really pretty. I'll put a picture up of it uh, so you can see what it looks like. So that wraps up this midweek episode of Antique and Garden Showcase. I hope you saw something that you liked on there. Um, if you're in the Berea, Kentucky area, visit Antique and Garden Showcase Retail at the Chestnut Street Mini Mall at 404 Chestnut Street, Berea, Kentucky. As always, thank you for watching Antique and Garden Showcase, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of the community. Have a great week. Bye.